Hey everyone, we're gonna do a complete review of this Hosum No Name RC car. It's a 116 scale, but it's actually a Hypergo brushless version which has model number from 16208 to 16209 or 16210. Um, also, look at here the optional parts, the GPS system. This is actually a very good system, and it's only cost 33 bucks or so. Um, if you're into needing this, you know, GPS system, that's a pretty good one to buy. And it only has, I mean, it has 120 meter range, which is okay. I still don't know why Wholesome doesn't give this a model number or uh, a name. It's just none whatsoever. <laughs> Let's open it up and take a look what we have inside. Okay, we have the menu. Let's see. Yeah, it's not like I'm going to read it. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, there we go. Looking every time. Hmm. Interesting design. I mean, the body shell. Let's take a look what's inside. As expected, there's uh, two chassis, uh, two body shells, I mean. I really like the red one. Uh, the green one is not bad, but I I think the red one looks really cool. Here we have the uh, dumbed down version of the transmitter and like I said beforehand the optional they have an upgraded version of it which has a better range than this one only got about 70 to 80 range and uh, well, let's see what else is in the bag extra battery The wheelie bar, the driver, the charger, the wrench. What is this? Mm. Let's take a look what's inside. A carrying bag. Okay, finally, we have some extra body clips. Uh, oh, it looks oh. different though. Interesting. I wonder if this is better though, than the one that uh, come on the car. Uh, extra wheel lock nuts. Nice. Uh, screwdriver. Yeah, don't need. Wait, there's some more stuff inside. Let's see. Oh, a little brush. Uh, actually, this comes in handy. I like it. Well, let's uh, take a look inside. See what we have. It looks familiar. Good thing it has the uh, heat sink and a uh, fan. Uh, metal drive shafts and metal diffs. Um, let's see. Oh, the uh, plastic body uh, shocks. The fan, I said. Uh, let's see, adjustable links. That's different from the brush version. Brush version does not is not adjustable. The light only has the front. Mm, let's see. Pretty standard. It's nice. Uh, three wire servo and independent independent receiver, so you can upgrade uh, with your existing system if you want. Because like I said, the range of this guy kind of sucks. 
it's only have the max out at 80 uh, 80 meter range I want to do a quick test before the light gets completely out there's hardly any lights left there is a 3S pack that will fit inside this car I just don't have one of those so tape everything up and let's go since uh, I'm running out of time and oh, it's just been coming. sitting in the shelf for a few days. I really want to get this get the car uh, ready. video finished up. There's so many cars now. Oh, it slides backward. Okay, let's see what we got on this one. What do you want? Wow, that's good. Just a quick disclaimer this three years later. Uh it's right uh, too much it's too much traffic right now. Uh let me try some area. Mm, start. Crazy street traffic. 7.30 at the... Here we go. Uh. Okay. Wait. Stop. Read. Nope. I think 41 probably is the best on 3S. Oh, look at that. Why is there so many traffics? Well, let's see if we can get a 2S speed run out of this before it gets completely dark. Let's go. That's top speed. Wow, looks like a big difference compared to um, 3DS. Go under the light. Let's see what we get. Twenty nine. Wow, that's pretty respectable. Okay, the uh, since I only did the field runs, the motor is completely cold. Um, but I suspect, like I said, uh, from previous testing with HyperGo, uh, is not an issue when you have a fan on there. And especially with this size of motor, you will not have a 
overheat issue even with the uh, 3S. Uh, the reason I put the uh, WL toy receiver in is because I have my uh, camera mounted on there. I want to do it quickly with the uh, before the lights. Uh, it it be, you know before it turns dark. And uh, I also use the uh, WRL toy EV mine battery, which has a little bit more kick to it uh, compared to the stock. But the stock one should be fine. Now I'm not sure about the 3S battery. There's some users complain the 3S batteries come from uh, Hypergo. Uh, doesn't provide enough voltage to uh, give it the speed that I have shown you here. Um, things a recap: things to need to watch out for uh, is uh, these little mount. Uh, when I did bashing, it breaks. Uh, so, um, what else? The weight point of this is the shocks, the uh, shaft that goes into the lower part of the support, it often strips out. So um, I've broken two already, two shocks. Um, this version uh, also use a plastic body. Now I haven't had a problem with the plastic body. But there's some version, the uh, the brush version of the Hosem is actually using a uh, um, metal body, metal alloy. Um, what else difference from the brush version is it has an adjustable link here. Um, also metal to give the uh, Steering is a little bit more precision. Now, as you can see, my 3S speeds run. I didn't do any adjustment whatsoever, and this car I go that on straight at that high speed, which is unheard of uh, among 116 scale car. This is the only one that's able to do it from my experience. Mm, what else to watch out for? Um, oh, one of the things with you brakes, uh, when you're on 2S, you're fine, but on 3S, it's gonna tip over when you hold the brake down just, just a tad long. So, really be gentle with the brake, or perhaps we, hmm, I wonder if we can reprogram this. I'm gonna try to plug in the program to uh, see if we can change the braking power. Hold on. Let's see, let me re plug all this thing in. Okay, let's see if we can reprogram this ESC. I would probably think not since this, uh, I don't know actually, let's see. Hmm. Oh, what does that mean? You can see, uh, not with this programmer that works with WL Toys uh, ESCs and some other like um, surpass hobbies. Surpass hobbies. Um, let's try the hobby wings. I kind of doubt it's gonna work. Let's see. But if it does, it'll be great. Mm. Nothing. Nothing at all. Let's 
see how about if I try plugging this in sometimes it helps but I really don't think let's try that again on mm, yeah nothing um, if you guys find out which programmer can work with this uh, ESC let me know to a battery I've got to test out this transmitter well, let's see and on. Oh wait, battery. Turn it on. Ooh. Okay, not turning. Let's see what's wrong. Okay, got it fixed up. Let's see if this controller has a problem with the brush version where when you turn it off, you have to hold down the key button uh, in order for it to bind. So let's find out. On, on, ah, no problem. So it's working just fine. And if you press this button, you can control the on off like on off all right so that's pretty good to power off you have to hold it down for a few seconds it's kind of annoying to take really a few seconds to turn off i think uh this car is near perfect now take a look at this it has a little green, um, I guess, decorative cap. That does not go with the red uh, body. That's fine for the uh, green one, you know. But the red one, uh, I guess you can just take that off. They don't come with the red one, so that's a little bit disappointing. But no biggie for the price. Uh, this is really a good deal i i got it when they just released so they were like 20 dollars off and i think right now it's only 10 dollars off i have to uh, double check when i post this video and see how much they are going so uh definitely uh wait for them to have discount before you buy hey that's always me budget right budget cars uh one more thing about these bodies as you notice it comes with two, which is great, but the problem is if you look at this and compare it with this, um, this body style uh, has not reached the US yet uh, for the Hosen. Uh, what's, why is this one better? Is because it has the anti-skid that protects the body. Well, this one does not. Um, I think that's the only downside about the body uh, for looks I think you know that's just preference it doesn't look too bad but it's not something I would like I actually prefer the body of the Hypergo which is why I make a custom body for it I uh, like this one adding metallic paint really make this pop I mean Take a look at that. I have this listed on another video if you want to take a look at that. Isn't that awesome? But this one is really good too. I like this one. If it's come out with this color scheme on the Hypergo instead of the Hosen, man, this would be really, really good. So, yeah. Red one is my favorite. If you ask me about this truck, Ugh, why is it not going in? Hmm. Let's see. That's fine. 
it's just a little tight. Well, anyway, um, I wouldn't worry about it. it. Might be because I flipped over and enlarged the top there. <laughs> yeah, so I have to file this down. Now, this is a thumbs up, that's for sure. For the price, what you get uh, compared to the WL toy, uh, I guess they have different function. If for speed uh, that you want, the WL toy uh, 144010 is def definitely the way to go. But if you want bashing around, also have pretty good speed, this is the one to go because this can run on 3S without wearing head issue. But not you can't say the same thing with the WL toy. You're gonna have to add a fan, but there's just not enough room. Um, or you have to do some modification. This one, out of the box, ready to go, 3S. Uh, the whole sim, I, this one I got from Amazon, forgot to mention that. And it's arrived earlier than HyperGo. The HyperGo one, uh, not enough room, sorry. This one is exactly the same, and I got it from Ally Express. Uh, HyperGo, um, the manufacturer said this should arrive in November. So it should be coming here soon. The guts of it is exactly the same. Everything down to the every little detail, uh, Dev, uh, drive shaft, suspensions. Uh, this time is there's no difference compared to the uh, the 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 whole Zim version, and which is good. You you have to worry about different configuration. But for the brush version, oh my God, they have so many different configuration configuration, and you have to watch out what you get. Uh, but on the US. Um, it's the weakest version, I guess, the cheaper versions, uh, which is H16SC. Uh, I forgot what this model is, but I'll put it on the on the screen. So I think that's it for the video. If anything else you want me to test it out, just comment below or. Have question? Go and ask me. Yeah, this is still an eyesore. Eyesore. <laughs>